Hello again, fabulous friends. Hello, everybody. And welcome to another video. Today, we will be fulfilling a promise we made to you, what, how long ago? A long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> you remember, we asked you to ask us some questions for a Q&A video. And actually, I've answered some of those questions, those questions that were directed to me particularly but some of those i guess seven or eight questions i believe seven, I believe, seven. Yes. all right were directed at both of us so we will be answering them together for together. you on yeah. camera today yeah. <laughs> all right now as we are doing that as you know we have two contests that are going on right now on this channel the first is which of which is to win a pre-release set of Strixhaven School of Mages. We asked you the question, which two passions do Josie and I share together? There are two things that are very dear to us in life in terms of hobbies, passions, and uh, actually two of you have gotten the correct answer. Now, because there's a tie, what we will do during the Q&A period is that we will introduce a final exam for the two of you containing three questions, and we will see who ends up winning. Okay, that'll be a lot of fun. We'll do that as we are doing the uh, Q&A. And at the end of this video, don't forget, you also have three packs of Arcane Rising coming someone's way, along with a beautiful foldable playmat, rollable, I should even say, of flesh and blood. So yeah, let's go see... That's contest number two. Yeah. So let's go see who are the winners, and let's get to our questions. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so how about we get going in this Q&A video? Before we do so, let's reveal the name of those two of you who are actually our finalists for our first contest. Um, the answer to the question, which passions two do Josie and I share in common? Well, the first answer is uh, kind of right behind us here. You've got a hint right on the counter. <laughs> Wine. Yeah, that was an easy one. Our first love. <laughs> Wine tasting and collecting, basically. So cheers to you, by the way. Mm -hmm. mm. So we do uh, do mixology. We like that also, but nothing compared to wine. So the second part of the answer is, well, some of you actually got the semi right because it has to do with travel. But more specifically, we were looking for what kind of travel, Josie? We love to cruise. We're big cruisers. Yeah, so the answer was wine and cruising, yes. cruises. The two of you that got it right, Cyril, congratulations, and Joshua, you'll recognize yourselves. Now what we did for you, so that we can uh, find an actual winner between you two, is we're going to ask you three more questions. This is Strixhaven School of Mages, final exam, college. <laughs> so question number one will be asked by Josie. Yes, and question number one is... What passion do I have that Mark really, but really doesn't have? That's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so question number two, we'll do the opposite. What passion do I have that Josie doesn't share at all with me? That's even easier. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, have a third question. The third question is, how many cruises have Mark and I done so far? All right, so basically there'll be just one point here. Only one of you, unless you both get it right on the nose. Uh, whoever's closest will get the point and we'll see who gets uh, questions and one and two right. And um, in the very next video, we'll reveal which one of you is our grand winner. Oh, and by the way, you two, don't go helping your opponent by putting your answer in the comments. No, 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 you send me an email. That'll be much better. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the actual Q&A. All right, Hi. first question was asked, um, by Frederick. Frederick, he asked us, how did Josie and I meet? So I'm going to let the girl answer that question. Yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Mark and I come from uh, two uh, towns that are about four hours apart, and we met in Montreal at McGill University. We uh, both attended the same classroom of about 800 students, and I used to love to sit the fourth row, first seat on the end. And if I was five minutes late to class, there was always this jerk sitting at my spot. So at the last day of classes, I finally started talking to this guy and became good friends with him. And I ended up marrying this jerk. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, before we started going out, though, at that time, a lot of things happened in between. But that might be a story for another time. Yeah, it's a very long story. <laughs> in a nutshell. We That's met how we, at, met. we met in college. Yep. <laughs> All right. So question number two comes to us from Devin. And this, you know, we're speaking about cruises. 
he has asked us which one was our favorite cruise. Now, actually, we started early because our honeymoon trip was a cruise, and then things went along, and we've done a lot. We can't give the answer yet, though. Yeah, we've done a lot of cruising, and they've all been special. We've cruised with friends, we've cruised with family, but one of them sticks out a little bit more than the others, and it was with family, actually. Both our parents uh, were on this cruise, and it was in Alaska. Yeah, Alaska. We've cruised in the heat of the Caribbean, we've cruised the Mediterranean, we've gone yeah. a lot of places, and of all the places, actually, Alaska, where it's cold. I mean, not only did we have family with us, I mean, we went on excursions, fishing trip, we caught some amazing salmon, um, you know, we, we did gold digging, gold digging <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Alaska was like, uh, you know, by a little bit was our favorite yeah. cruise, so there you go, Alaska. Alaska. Our next question, question number three, comes to us from uh, the very producer of these magnificent thumbnails, Gabriel Couture. Thanks again, Gabriel. Thanks again. And his question was, uh, what is your next uh, trip destination? And also, which character class does Josie play in WoW? World of Warcraft, for those of you who know what that is. All right, so first part of the question. Um, actually, with COVID, we didn't want to book a trip too far for this summer because we're doing one in actually a couple of months in August. Um, but um, for those of you that are familiar with the area, it's, we're staying in Quebec, Canada. We're going way up north where all our electricity is being produced and it's called La Bay James. <laughs> all right. So three weeks. Basically, James Bay. James really? Bay. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's um, you know, it's a kind of uh, camping. It's not camping, but deluxe camping because we're going to use our RV, the one you've seen there, the uh, Executrix tour bus. We're using that and we're going up there for uh, actually three weeks this summer. But let's get into the next uh, trip abroad, okay? Cruising, we've talked about. We've actually booked another cruise of two weeks at the beginning of uh, January. Well, January 2022. And this is on the very newest ship of Royal Caribbean called Odyssey of the Seas. Yay. And it will be second and third week of uh, January, actually. Uh, it's the southernest in the Caribbean. So that's, uh, that's our next main destination, next main trip. As for WoW character class, well, let Josie answer that. I've been playing WoW since Burning Crusade, so it's been a long time. So I've played a lot of characters. But my very first one was a mage or a wizard. And I uh, played her for a while, had a lot of fun. And then switched to a heel. So I did a druid heel. Then I tasted the Death Knight, which I really, really loved. And every time a new class comes out I try it out and I play it and then if I like it I keep it and if not I just delete it but my true loves are definitely uh, wizard druid death knight and paladin yeah paladin she has only three paladins you know but anyway yeah, that's I play one on the horde side <laughs> <laughs> yeah that too and by the way just in case you're interested um, you know I play well too not as much as her but uh, I'm definitely a paladin I mean, uh, Paladin, best class in the world, right? You can heal, you can attack, yeah, yeah, you can... Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> and obviously, well, what I prefer is being a tank, so I'm out there battling and... Uh, you know. I'll remind you that the question was addressed to me. Oh. Not to you. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry about that, Gabriel. But anyway, <laughs> now you know. Question number four from Gambit Rogue. And the question is... How long have you been collecting and what is your most prized piece? It's for his question. Yeah, maybe I should have answered this in a previous video, but uh, as you've seen, I've been collecting <laughs> since I was a kid, all kinds of things from uh, you know, eight, nine years old, from matchboxes to hockey cards to baseball cards, stamps, coins, and uh, when I got to be with Josie, then came the wine, and then TCGs with Magic the Gathering, Flesh and Blood, and so on. So. Actually, I have some prized pieces in each one of these collections, obviously, but with stamps, I have quite a few pieces that I love and adore. Same thing with coins. So I figured I'd just uh, limit it to three of my collections. So let's go with uh, Magic the Gathering. I would say it's basically, I've been collecting that only for a few years now. And one of the most prized pieces I have with that is a sealed, actually, box of uh, Innistrad. So you guys will recognize this, obviously. So uh, in a Strata collection, a set that came out, uh, what, seven or eight years ago. So I guess that's one of, you know, the things that I like the most about my Magic the Gathering collection. Then we have, obviously, um, the wine. And uh, my prized piece is basically because it is 
the year that I was born in, so 1966, and this is one of the top wines in the world, and it's called Chateau Petrus. So I'm actually going to show it to you uh, a little closer here. So as you can see, uh, Chateau Petrus, and I don't know if you can see here the year, 1966, Petrus, and the wine is at the shoulder. Well, uh, as you can uh, guess, this wine has uh, is basically the same age as me, so... We're talking about uh, 55 years here <laughs> this year. So that is, uh, that is another really piece. It's really old. What is the other collection I wanted to talk to them about? Flesh and blood, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> okay, flesh and blood, maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's funny, actually. All right, so, um, yeah. And you, guys can, a blooper. <laughs> and you guys can guess what my most prized piece of flesh and blood is. As I was getting started in the game in October, I ordered a few boxes. Uh, well, a total of six boxes. I've kept some, a few sealed, and I opened a few. And actually, two of those boxes were opened on camera. One in English, one in French. When I started this channel, I wanted it. I wanted to make it, you know, bilingual, two languages. And guess what? I opened a box of Welcome to Wraith Alpha Edition on the channel in English, and uh, you know, got the good, some good cards, but not the hard to find though. And I actually got it when I opened the video with French commentary. And you can see my reaction. I'll link it uh, in this video. I'll put it in the comment section. The link that actual video that occurred uh, that happened back in October. And you will see when I opened it, this card was worth three thousand dollars, and I was going crazy for three thousand dollars. It's not. It's not like fifty grand. Can't believe it. But that is definitely my most prized uh, piece of uh, flesh and blood. Alrighty. Getting a little bit lower. Yeah, lower than mine, <laughs> anyway. That's normal. All right, question number five is from Tanner, and it goes like this. How many cards are you missing from each of your FAD collections? And part two of this question is, what is your favorite cocktail? Well, actually, how about we start by answering part two? It's so easy for me. We've done it on the, one of the videos. It's a yellow bird by far. I love the yellow bird. Yeah, well, uh, for me, I used to be a Cosmo girl, but now that we've created the flesh and blood cocktail, oh, yeah. I really, really like the flesh and blood cocktail. Yeah, it's good. You have the pom uh, pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. All right, so let's get to uh, answering that question with the cards. Well, actually, let's start by Welcome to Raid Alpha Edition. I only opened two boxes. I'm missing 22 cards. And however, I do have the Heart of Final, as mentioned before. Second set is uh, Arcane Rising First Edition. This time I'm missing 20 cards, plus the Eye of Ophidia that I don't have in the first edition. And then we move on to Crucible of War. All right, uh, I'm missing four cards. Three are... Um, Breeze Rider Boots, um, what else am I missing? Cracked Bobble, and I'm missing also, well, Arknight Shard. Arc Knight Shard. I haven't, uh, we've opened, what, uh, 30 boxes, if not more. Never got the Fabled in that one, so, you know, so still 40. missing. Actually, haven't uh, gotten a Cracked Bobble either. Actually, we did, but uh, someone had uh, sponsored the box, and it was his, so uh, it was uh, shipped out, so I did yeah, see it. We waved it goodbye. <laughs> waved it goodbye. So, um, so that's uh, only three cards missing in uh, Crucible of War. Then, um, Welcome to Wraith Unlimited, missing no cards. I have also the uh, Fabled and Arcane Rising Unlimited, I'm missing no cards and I also have the Fabled. So those two sets are very complete. There you go. Question number six from Ryan Cooper. What is your favorite artwork in each set? Okay. So Difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because as you guys know, there's uh, the, the artwork in the cards of Flesh and Blood is, uh, is amazing. So what we'll yes. do here, because, um, you know, camera, it's better to just put up the image up there uh, so that you can see it better. We'll just tell you which one it is. So for Welcome to Wraith, Joel sees is a Steel Blade Supremacy. What a beautiful warrior card. Actually, yeah. it might be my favorite. Well, I, you know, for me, it comes down to two. So Steel Blade Supremacy and a Singing Steel Blade. Um, we like girls are... that kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go for Welcome to Wraith. And then when we get into Arcane Rising, Josie actually picked a Teclo Core, that uh, mechanologist card. Yeah, the colors are beautiful. Yeah, and uh, when you have a look at it in uh, the rainbow foil version, uh, yeah. amazing. Nice. And, uh, and for me, well, you know, you guys might have guessed this. I've mentioned it quite often. I even have a video there where I'm uh, with the hair on fire. So it would be Art of Fire, Art of War. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up with my hair's on fire, but the card is Art of War. 
so that would be my favorite with respect to Arcane Rising. And then when we get to Crucible of War, Josie actually has, um, mm, I mean, we mentioned Datadol, remember? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, one of our favorite cards. Yeah, again, it's a lot of color. And yeah, I like that card too. The version is, is amazing. Mm. It's one of my favorite too, but you know, if you guys think I'm a cheap date, well, you're wrong. I do have uh, expensive tastes, so what do you think my I favorite confirm. card from, <laughs> from Crucible of War? <laughs> it just happens to be the $6,000 card, but it is definitely for me Cheyenne. It'll be for a lot of you, I think, too. Let's get to our last question, and who else to ask this question than Frostito himself? <laughs> <laughs> Frostito, you're really, uh, well, anyway, um, getting into some personal stuff here. Anyway, when was the time, question seven, the last one, when was the time that Josie and you got the most drunk, and how did it end? Well, let me just tell you right away that it wasn't the same time, it was at different occasions. And for me, it's easy to remember because I finished the evening barfing all over my best friend's wall. So uh, we were at his place, dancing, got so drunk, barfing all over the place. That's how, I mean, that was it. <laughs> anyway, let's not get into more detail. It's disgusting as it is. Anyway, let's get into Joseph's more interesting. Well, I think the, the question, when you get the most drunk, the end result is you barf. <laughs> <laughs> but you barfed all over your friend's uh, wall. Yeah. Wall, yeah, yeah. And I'm not too proud of when I got the most drunk. <laughs> it was uh, actually uh, on our honeymoon, <laughs> on a party cruise. We took a cruise and we did this little mini party cruise and it was hot and it was... Uh, it was tequila, right? Tequila, sunrises and everything. And um, anyway, so uh, we came back uh, on the boat and I was dancing with everybody, grabbing... Uh, Don't forget, this is on our honeymoon. Grabbing other men's uh, butts, and uh, I don't remember any of this because this is what he tells me that I did, but I don't remember. And uh, how did it end? Well, I think I ended up talking to the big white telephone. Mm, yeah, you too, right? <laughs> so there you go, you uh, curious Frostito, and for all of you others out there. So I uh, hope you liked uh, this uh, Q&A part of the video. We're going to get to the last part and open, well, actually not open, but see who won those three packs of uh, Arcane Rising. And the, uh, thank you very much, the uh, playmat. So thanks uh, very much for participating with me, Josie. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let, you get let to us know, know us a little bit better. Yeah, and make sure you comment and let us know, you know, favorite question, favorite answer, or what you think uh, of a crazy us. And uh, yeah, so anyway, hope you had as much fun as us. So. Uh, Let's get to the last part of the video. Alrighty. All right, boys and girls, you know the drill by now. If you want your screenshot, go ahead and take it right away. You've got 21 of the cards that we've pulled last time in those three packs, and I will go right ahead and show you the rest because I can't put them all on screen at the same time. You will be happy to know that both Josie and I, when counting, arrived at the very same number in the, on the very first try. So we are very, very confident that we have the right answer. These are sleeved, by the way, so that the winner gets his cards protected. The rare plus cards. And finally, the three last ones here do not count. They are the double-sided ones. And I told you that they were not to be counted. All right. So when you come up with the final number, what do you get? You get a total of 324 this time. Now, why do I have two? It's because we actually had two people that got the correct guess. We have S. Sephiroth T here, who guessed uh, three, well, 295, 315, 20, 324. But we also have Philip Jang, who got 324, 328, 320. Obviously, Philip, his first pick was 324. So, Philip, you are the grand winner of all these cards. And obviously, I decided to throw in, as you know, a beautiful roll up play mat that you uh, will be able to use for yourself and your friends. So, you are a grand winner. You don't need to purchase one from me as you're getting one for free. Uh, value of, well, $16, my cost price, basically. But there you go. Grand winner. Uh, congratulations to you, Philip. And uh, by the way, I'm not running immediately another contest because in a few days, I will be restarting this with Monarch cards. It's going to be Monarch-based, our next contest, basically. So stay in touch, stay tuned, and don't miss that very coming up very soon in an upcoming video. All right, take care, you guys. Don't forget the thumbs up if you liked, and we'll see you very soon. Take care out there and be, be safe. Bye-bye.